Welcome back to Surviving 7 Days in Project Zomboid. This is Brian Blevins, and we're robbing people. In the last episode, we foraged through the woods to try to create a spear. We eventually got chased out by zombies and found our way to Morris's bait shop, where we found fishing gear and a tent, perfect for outdoor living, which is what we decided to do. So that's what's happening this episode. Can we survive another day as Brian Blevins, the burglar forager? Let's find out. It's apple seed. The first thing I did that night was fill up my water bottle with this collected rain. That should fix our thirst issue, but we're still hungry so we have to find food immediately. I headed outside to check this vending machine, but it was empty. I figured the next best thing was to go foraging to try to find some berries. I don't think there's gonna be zombies out here, honestly. Ooh, we found something. Alright, we found some twigs. Let's grab them. Let's just grab as much stuff as we can. Definitely want to get that foraging level up. Unfortunately, we did not come across any food. Alright, we found a tree branch. I placed that tree branch down on the ground and decided to come up with a new game plan. Wow, so this is how much we've explored so far. Yellow seems to be a restaurant slash entertainment. I mean, that's like guaranteed food, but I feel like going to the residential here might be safer just because it is more foresty based on what it looks like on the map. So we're gonna have to make our way over to the residential that's right next to us. So that's exactly what I did. I headed over to the residential area where I was greeted with zombies. I'm gonna climb over this gate, wait for them all to fall. Oh, they just like ran me over. Oh, did I get bit? Oh. Luckily it was just a scratch and I had a ripped cloth that was perfect for bandaging it. After that, I headed into the bathroom where I found a pair of tweezers that would bite me in the ass later. I made my way over to the next house where I equipped the tweezers to remove the broken glass that was from this window. Alright, so we have the tweezers in our hands and we're going to use it to remove the broken glass, which means we can climb through safely. Oh my gosh, what? What? I didn't know that was a thing. Immediately when I got into the house, the alarm went off and I had to make a run for it. When I made my way back to Morris's bait shop, unfortunately it was swarmed with zombies. My next plan was to head down river because it looked like there was a lot less zombies in the area and there could possibly be more resources for us to get. All right, so apparently we can sleep on these benches. So that's what we're gonna do because we are getting very tired. Okay, I'm hearing zombies and that's freaking me out. What's going on? Why am I still asleep? Oh God. Oh my God. I just woke up and got bit. So we did end up taking the zombies out, but unfortunately we got bitten on our right arm and we got scratched on our left arm. It's just a whole mess. So we might actually end up becoming a zombie. Who knows? After bandaging myself up, I went and started foraging again. I came across this grasshopper, which was really cool. I found some wild berries. Hopefully I don't die from food poisoning. And I got attacked by a zombie. Eventually I made my way over to this small little community area here. I was definitely not equipped or prepared to explore the area. So I headed over to the residential area. After exploring the area for a little bit, I made my way over to this house. <gasps> Whoa, this is perfect. We found the baseball bat. We finally have a weapon and it's an awesome weapon. It's now 5 p.m. and it's getting late and we finally found a safe house to hide out in. I feel like this is a good time to call it a day. It is getting late and so we can use the time that we have left to just start barricading the house, start putting up protection, checking out the resources that are available to us in this house, and creating a game plan for the next day. On day two, we were able to explore the area a little bit and we actually managed to make it out alive. Unfortunately, we did lose our base at Morris's bait shop due to the alarm that went off when we went into the house that had a broken window. For some weird reason, the alarm still went off. Can we survive a third day? You're just gonna have to wait and find out. 